finally get these useless notifications. And the apps were never really that beneficial to me. It was kind of like just like a, a scam, you know? And the apps would try to get my attention as much as they could. And uh, try to get me to spend money in, on them. And uh, these days I think the apps are a little bit more sophisticated and like a lot of the social apps you may know a lot of people on the apps so you're always you know checking the apps and seeing if you got any likes or notifications from people or you know what what people are doing today this very minute and you end up having like a couple of apps that are constantly giving you notifications that you have to constantly check on. So a lot of people love that. They're constantly checking their phone. They're constantly getting a dopamine fix. They love it. But me personally, I find it hugely distracting. And um, yeah, I don't like it. And like I said, um, I actually find that when I talk to people, I feel dumber afterwards. Anytime I ever got really good at something was usually 100% on my own. And the only time other people were even remotely useful was like when I was first interested in something. So they could teach me like the, the bare basics. But after that, everything else was on my own. Through my own research and development and spending money and seeing what works and st studying. So I've never really gained much by sitting around talking to people. Ever. Ever, ever. And it's kind of eye-opening when you realize that, that you can sit around and talk all day to people, and, and it'll just eat up your time and distract you, make you frustrated, and it'll actually make things harder. It'll make things, because you just constantly listen to other people's opinions all day. where you can't focus on what matters to you and how to get better at what matters to you. So, um, I I've seen a couple of ASMR channels that are really big and what they do is it seems like they just make a video once a week and that's it. It seems like they don't even like maintain their YouTube channel. You know, it's like one or two days a week, maybe even one or two days a month. They'll make a video, and uh, that's it. And they don't really use YouTube for anything else. So I've noticed that, again, YouTube is just an app. And... Um, you know, if you're constantly getting comments and notifications, you're constantly getting updates from other YouTubers and stuff. It's very distracting. It's just one of the, the many apps that are constantly giving you notifications, constantly making you wonder, like, what other people have done the past few hours that you, you should check up on and stuff. You end up constantly, constantly checking your phone, constantly maintaining. And that's a lot of work. That's a lot of distraction. And if you want to get, like, the, I think the most, the most out of these apps, well, for one, they have to pay you. So if the app is just distracting you, time is money. If the app is not actually giving you any money, why are you using it? So 
some of you may be because like I, I like to talk to my friends. You don't need an app to talk to your friends. Some people will willingly just use apps that they get nothing in return. Besides a dopamine fix, besides the app constantly telling them, hey, somebody liked something, hey, somebody just made a new picture or a new video, hey, you know, you should like check your phone and then like flip through it for an hour because there's lots and lots of mesmerizing things. So, some people may like that. They're like, wow, this, this app is so entertaining. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. It's so funny. I can just flip through things all day. And it distracts me and I get nothing out of it. And oh, look, somebody liked one of my TikToks. Somebody liked one of my Instagram pictures. Somebody liked, you know. So it's, it's like, again, in a lot of these places, you think like, oh, Reddit, oh my god, I'm on Reddit, talking to everybody, and they're thumbsing me up, and they're responding to me, wow. It's just little dopamine fix, little no notifications. So I think the best way, again, like, again, what's the point of talking to people if it's just gonna slow you down. It's literally like like if you don't have any apps, you don't you don't you don't use any of that stuff. It's like you can walk just fine. And every time you install an app, it just it puts more baggage, more baggage on you. It's like getting a heavier and a heavier backpack. And eventually it just drags you down to nothing. Because you're always busy looking at notifications, staring at a screen, distracted, getting dopamine fixes, maintaining, literally working for free, eating up your time, eating up your mind.
there's nothing to gain from Twitter. Nothing to gain from anything. They don't even pay you anything. And you don't need it. At all. At all. It's been so normalized, hey, you're supposed to be wasting your time on all the biggest apps. All the biggest apps. You're supposed to be wasting your time. Um, so currently, my phone is very boring. It's got no apps on it. No Spotify for Joe Rogan experience, even. I used to get notifications that, like, Joe Rogan made a new podcast. Or I would have Twitch, and it would tell me somebody went live. And, um, like, I would typically watch a Twitch stream when I'm working out for an hour. Or listen to a podcast when I'm working out for an hour. So I don't really need to know exactly when they go live, or when they have a new video. That just distracts me. It's too many notifications. You know, I can check when the time comes, like when I actually want something to listen to for a minute. You know? So many things that like just trying to get your attention all day. All day. Constantly checking your phone to see little notifications. And uh, when you really think about it, you don't need any of that. You don't gain anything from that. And, um, again, there's not, not everybody sits on that stuff all day. They touch grass. They touch grass. Grass. So it's like gamers and like I, I remember when I would have like a video game console sitting on my desk. I would buy video games for it. I would be playing video games more often just by having the video game system sitting there. I would literally sometimes buy games I would never fathom buying just because the video game console was sitting there. I was like, gee, if I have a video game console, I might as well like buy some games for it. <laughs> so it enables you to just like, so like I don't even like having a video game console or anything. Because it just gives you something to, to waste the time on. And once you turn those games on and start playing them, it looks you. You know, you, you get the tunnel vision. You can't think of anything else. You're just in the zone playing the video game. And it just... And then after you're done playing, I don't know, for me it takes a little bit of, of time to, to clear your mind and recover so that you can start focusing on things again. God, I remember sometimes, like, I would look forward to, like, new video games. I would constantly check to see, like, what new video games are they coming out with. And I would watch the trailers and, uh, early gameplay and stuff. And I would get all, like, I would be obsessed with, like, knowing what new games are coming out. I would be so excited. They're gonna be so amazing. They're gonna offer so much new stuff, new stuff, new stuff. Most of the time I would be disappointed by the new games. They would be a letdown, but like, these days, like, I don't even know where to go to, to learn about new games. I mean, I guess I could just, like, like, I used to go to GameSpot, and, um, you know, they would have, like, all the new releases of games and stuff. These days, like, I have not gone, I have not gone to GameSpot in, like, many, 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 many years. So I don't even know. 
Stanley Jack. 